everyone, it's Olivia here at Philadelphia's Magic Gardens and I'm outside in our sculpture garden today as part of our Pico Family Jam series. And we'll be doing this virtually for the second Sunday of the month, every month until we're reopened to the public. So we can't wait to have you back in our space, but until then, we'll be coming to you on your screen. So today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about some of the memories that Isaiah has included here at Philadelphia's Magic Gardens. He talks a lot about his work as being a journal of his life, and we're going to see some of the different ways that he's done that. So in our craft video, you're going to learn how to make your own memory box, but we're going to take a look in the gardens today at some of the different objects that Isaiah has included here and why they're special to him. So a lot of people might think that the things that are here are just kind of trash. And some of the things are just sort of random objects that Isaiah has collected like bottles and bike wheels. But a lot of the things here have a very special meaning to him too. So things that you'll see in the space are related to people he knows, places he's been, there's special collaborations between him and other artists. They're objects that he's made when he's been working through difficult times in his own life. And in fact, the reason why Isaiah started to make mosaics is because he was going through a very difficult time in his life and his art making, his making mosaics, was what really got him through that. It was the one thing that made him feel better. And it's been something that has been like a therapy for him throughout his life. So by making mosaics and making all of this art, it isn't just something for other people to enjoy. It's been something that has really helped get him through the most difficult times of his life. And that's especially important during this period where a lot of us are dealing with difficult things in our own lives. So come with me, I'm going to show you some different things that Isaiah has included in the space that are really special to him. So come on, let's go see. This tile we're looking at here is one that Isaiah made during his residency in Wisconsin at Kohler where he had access to facilities that are used to making toilets and sinks and things like that. So he can make really big things that he wouldn't be able to make in his own kiln at home. And that's his oven where he bakes his tiles. And so any big tiles like this that you see throughout Philadelphia's Magic Gardens were generally made at Kohler. Now this tile is particularly special because it talks about the attacks on September 11th in 2001. And that was something that was hard for a lot of people to deal with. It was a very dark time for our country, but Isaiah was particularly affected by it. He was raised in New York and went to college there. And so it was something that was very close to his heart. So he was thinking a lot about that because this was only a month after that. And we can see that some of the things that he includes in the tile were about September 11th. So we actually have four planes here that he put on the tile. And then it also says that day and 9-11-01, the date when the attacks happen. And you'll see planes and 9-11 on a lot of tiles throughout the space because he was thinking a lot about that during that that time and really using his art as a way to work through those difficult feelings. So that's just one thing you'll see Isaiah doing in the space. Come on, let's go take a look at something else. So the tiles behind me are also from Isaiah's Wisconsin residency at Kohler. You can see they're really large, but these are actually about Isaiah's family. So we see his son, Jeremiah, right here in these yellow tiles, his wife, Julia, here behind me, and then next to that is Isaiah. So Isaiah loves including his family in his artwork, and you'll see them all throughout the Magic Gardens, as well as lots of his other artwork. He said especially about Julia, he's done thousands of portraits of her throughout his life. So they're all really important people to him and play a big part in his artwork. So you might include your family in your artwork at home, and that's very much like Isaiah. So we're just gonna look a little bit more closely at Jeremiah's portrait here and the words that are above it. So it says, Jeremiah, and then it says filmmaker and in a dream. So Jeremiah actually is a filmmaker and he made a movie called In a Dream about the Zagar family 
several years ago and it is gives a very private look at their family and Isaiah just wanted to commemorate that here and you'll see lots of references to his family the next time you come through the Magic Gardens um, but this artwork just shows how important those people in his family are to him and that he's always kind of thinking about them when he's making his artwork. Let's go check out something else. So the next thing we're taking a look at are some names that are in the garden. So the one that you can see right here at the bottom of the screen is Clarence Schmidt. And that's one of the artists who was a big inspiration to Isaiah. And a lot of the names that you see here at Philadelphia's Magic Gardens are the names of artists who were very inspirational to Isaiah. So you might like to put up posters or keep things of people that you find inspirational. And Isaiah does that too. He really likes to include these artists who have come before him and really inspired him to make the things that we see here at Philadelphia's Magic Gardens. And Clarence Schmidt is actually the artist that Isaiah says has been the most important to inspiring his work. So he saw Clarence Schmidt's House of Mirrors which was an art environment similar to Philadelphia's Magic Gardens when he was just 19 years old. And he said when he saw that place, he knew that he wanted to make something like that too. So it was a very important time in Isaiah's life, and he still remembers that and references it a lot. But as you explore Philadelphia's Magic Gardens, you can find lots of names like this, and people often wonder whose names they are. And they're usually names of other artists, some artists that you might have heard of, and some artists that have made art environments like this that you might not have. So if you're not familiar with some of these artists next time you come, I would encourage you to check them out. They have made a lot of really cool places and you can see how a lot of what they've done has influenced Isaiah here at Philadelphia's Magic Gardens. So let's go take a look at one more thing. So the last piece I'm gonna show you out in the sculpture garden today is this one right here next to me. And this is by a very famous Mexican folk artist named Josefina Aguilar. She is an artist who Isaiah has collaborated with for a long time. And she is very famous in Mexico and the world really for making these kinds of figures. And we have a lot of her work in the Magic Gardens. We're very lucky. And Isaiah has been working with her since the 1970s to collaborate on pieces. So this one in particular is a special piece that she made just for Isaiah, which is true of a lot of the work that you see here at Philadelphia's Magic Gardens. So it's not just that Isaiah is buying things that he likes and putting them here, which he sometimes does, but he's also really working with these artists to create things from his drawings, especially for him. So this one actually came from a painting that he had seen by a Mexican painter named Rodolfo Morales, where an angel was lifting up men to heaven and so he wanted Josefina to make sculptures based on that painting for him and this is what she ended up making. So a lot of the sculptures that you see in the sculpture garden are very much like this where Isaiah would have worked with those artists to come up with something that he couldn't have made on his own and that is sort of his idea that then the artists took and they added all of their own special touches to. So we're very lucky to have this Mexican folk art here in this space. And next time you come, you can look for a lot of these kinds of sculptures all throughout our sculpture garden. So that's the end of our tour of the sculpture garden for today. Thank you so much for joining me to learn about all of these special objects that are here at Philadelphia's Magic Gardens that are not just trash or things that Isaiah has cobbled together, but they're really special things to him. And I hope it helps you to think about what things are really special to you and what things you might want to remember and keep and show to people just as Isaiah has here at Philadelphia's Magic Gardens. So thank you for joining us for our Pico Family Jam series. We hope to see you here soon. If you enjoyed this video from Philadelphia's Magic Gardens, consider making a donation of any amount today. 94% of Philadelphia's Magic Gardens budget comes from admissions and other public programs. Go to phillymagicgardens.org and click on support to donate. 
We miss you and can't wait until we can welcome you back to this magical place. Thank you so much for your support and we hope to see you soon.